Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Decryption and in today's video we're going to make it so you can walk up to an enemy and kill them as part of a quest. It's a highly requested feature. So you can see I have my new tutorial map with some more demo code that I've been trying and you can see we have enemies. I currently have it so if I click it fires a line cast to say that I've pretended to shoot somebody and I can walk up to my NPCs and I can just take them out as you can see. So how would we go along completing a quest to kill an enemy? Well the first thing we need is an enemy. So I'm going to take one of my existing NPCs. There we go we have an NPC. He can be our enemy. Next we need a quest. So let's open up our content drawer and we'll go blueprints narrative quests and I'm going to create a new quest in here and I'm going to call this QB for quest blueprint kill the traitor next we'll open this up and the most efficient way to think about narrative is you have to imagine everything is some sort of task so from our quest here which we will rename to kill the traitor so we need to ha create a task so we can come off and do kill enemy so let's go into our content drawer again blueprint narrative tasks and we'll create a new task here right click narrative tasks called nt kill enemy so what we'll do is i'll just basically come through and remove all the nts because that's my preference and as you can see in the argument name it's asking for the enemy's name which is perfect so we can come from kill the traitor and we can do kill enemy and we can set this enemy's name to the name of the enemy who we need to kill and using a random american colonial generator name we will call him truth wallace that's his name so we can his enemy name inside like so and then after that we'll just succeed the quest and we'll delete the description now and that's our quest done all we now need to do is code the npc to complete this task so you will most likely have an npc blueprint every game's going to be different but the most common thing we should have is it will be a blueprint and you will have some sort of damage receiver for them i'm using unreal's built-in any damage node but you can use the radial damage the point damage or any custom damage node you've got and inside you will have some form of health checking and health setting you will have something which makes them dead it'll destroy them or it'll do something in my case i simply set their health to zero i mark them as dead and then i ragdoll them i remove the colliders so we can't keep hitting them and then i destroy them after 10 seconds but yours can be anything you want so we need something in here which is going to go off and complete the task but only for specific npcs we don't want killing random civilians to sit marking up narrative tasks because otherwise the save will become huge so on my npc i'm going to come and create a new variable in here called be narrative task on death and what i'll do with this boolean is i'll be able to tick it on the npcs that specifically need to mark narrative when they're dead and i will come below this event damage and i will just create a new event so add custom event and i will call this on death update narrative task and the first thing i'll do is i'll add a branch here by holding b and clicking and i will check my update narrative on death boolean so if this is true then we have marked the npc as wanting to update narrative and then i can right click and do get narrative component which will go off and get it from the player controller and then up here i can do complete narrative task set it to true i can set the task to kill enemy and then the enemy name you need to set to the name you need to kill in the quest in my case everyone's already got a name variable if you don't then you just need to find some way to pass their name to the narrative task my advice would be just create a variable of type text or string and then pass it in and then lastly all we need to do is call this on death method so i'm going to move all my stuff across and inside here i'm simply going to go on death update narrative task there so when we kill the enemy it should come in and it should run the update narrative task here and i've just cut it so now we have a new task we have a quest we have an npc that i'll update narrative narrative if required we need to go in and set the npc up to have the correct name so i'll say Ruth wallace i'll grab this guy and i'll just set his name to be Ruth wallace there we go but we've got no way to start the narrative quest there are a multitude of ways you can do this all i'm going to do is grab my commando chief guy here i'm going to grab his existing dialogue which we've done dialogue in previous videos and all i'm going to do is here i have created a loop back so he'll give the player three options they'll be able to answer them and then it'll loop right back to the beginning so all i'm going to do from here come down and add a new player option saying i I'm in need of some gold have you got anything for me i'll set the option to any gold and then we can have mr charles banks the third come off and say i have something but it's not nice one of my soldiers have been selling our gear to the enemy it's punishable but he's highly ranked amongst the team i need it done on the down low so basically it's hiring a hit for us and then we can say do you want it and the player can either say yes 
in which case yes it will be done and then from here i will add an event where i will begin quest and then here we can simply say the quest is kill the traitor there we go and if the player says no i put no it sounds too deep and then we can just make him say that's too bad if you change your mind you know where i am and then i can simply come and loop this back to the beginning again and if the player does accept it then this is where we give them the information great his name is truth wallace and he stood outside on the big rock like some sort of preacher there we go so now we have a way to begin the quest now that we've set the dialogue up we just need to make sure truth wallace is set up to die on narrative tasks so if i begin the game we can come up and say I need gold, he says the backstory, then he says do you want it, we say yes, the quest begins, saying kill the traitor, so we can run up and as we shoot him, boom, the quest is succeeded. You could take it one step further by moving the success node across, drag off from your kill the enemy and add another step here, which will add the quest state, then we can come in and add a player play dialogue node and then complete that to the quest succeeded, place the node ID, I'm going to call it the name of the quest final for the final dialogue and describe what the player needs to do. I will just say return to Charles and inform him that truth will no longer be a problem and then from Charles Banks here I'm going to drag down to make some room and on the I may need some gold I'm going to add a condition which says is quest in progress and I'm going to select my quest and then in the conditions I'm going to set it to not so this will only show if the quest is not in progress and then what we can do is drag down from the player options add another one which we will copy the events for we've copied the condition and instead of quest in progress we will say not in progress we'll untick the not then we will set the text to be I have taken care of truth truth is gone and I will drag off from here and just make Charles say something well I'm not happy about it but I can't have him dealing with the enemy you have my thanks here is your gold and then that's where we just apply some gold to the player just make sure you set the ID to whatever you set the player logs dialog ID to so as you can see the I have taken care of truth is not visible because we've not began the quest I can say I need some gold and then we begin the quest if I run up and shoot him it will say return to Charles truth is dead and I'll say how can I help him well now we can say truth is gone and he'll say I've taken a truth well I'm not happy about it boom the quest has succeeded and that is how you kill a named enemy in narrative and you might think what if you need to take out a group of bandits or something like that that using the same task is extremely easy so I've created four bandits that we need to take out and all I'm going to do is set their name to a group name. I'm going to call it Raid Bandits 1 and I'm going to make sure Narrative on Death is ticked. Now they all have the same name and they all have the narrative task on death. I'm just going to copy Kill the Traitor and I'm going to call it Kill the Bandits instead. And click the class defaults, we'll set the Kill the Traitor to Kill the Bandits. I'll set the description so the commander wants the bandits to be gone and I'll set the ID. Instead of kill the enemy Truth Wallace, instead what we're going to do is set it to Raid Bandits 1. So that'll be the name of the group. And instead, where you see this quantity here, you set it to how many bandits you have. This can be a minimum amount or the entire amount of bandits. So we can see we've got four bandits here. So I will set it to four. And this will mean the quest must be done four times. So we need to kill four enemies. I'll set the task description to kill the bandits. And now I've just updated the quest to say once you've killed them return back and complete kill the bandits final and all we need to do now on the dialogue to begin the quest and you can begin the quest any way you want what i am also going to do is add a condition to it is quest succeeded and i'll say this is only available if you've killed the traitor that way we have quest progression i can say from charles's perspective actually yes there is one more thing there are a group of bandits outside trying to draw attention get rid of them and i will pay you handsomely and then the player can say yes or no again so i'll say sure i'll get rid of them and i'll get rid of them in which case we can begin the quest kill the bandits otherwise and i'll say no i can't do that that's not for me he'll just say thanks if he says no i'll just drag it back to the same one saying change your mind and it'll come back so i'll add another player note just to say the bandits are gone I will add a condition to this which will say is the quest in progress and I will say if the kill the bandits is in progress then allow us to proceed through there and I'll just make him say great here is your goal. The only other thing we need to fix is on this one here where we say do you have anything else for me we need to add another condition to it that says if the quest is in progress so the quest will be kill the bandits so if the quest is already in progress they shouldn't be able to come in here so tick them not. The way narratives conditions work is it adds them all together as a big end so it must have succeeded the previous one and it must not be in progress. Finally, just make sure you update your ID to the same as your play dialogue node and now test it.
Um, so now you can see we only have I need gold, which is the first quest. Do you want it? Yes, we do want it. So we can come up, we can shoot him, he dies, we can run back across. And you can see it, truth is gone. We can now do that. And then that'll say good. We can come back to him and he'll say any other gold. So we can tick any other gold and he will say, yes, there are a group of bandits. Do you want it? I'll get rid of them. He'll say thanks. And you can see narrative has automatically said we need to kill four bandits. If I shoot one of them, the numbers go up. Boom. And now we can come back and complete kill the bandits final. He will say the bandits are gone. Great. Here is your gold. And that's the quest succeeded. You might have noticed that the I need some gold is continually showing. To simply fix this, add, a, add another condition to it, which says the quest has succeeded. Set it to kill the traitor and tick the knot. This will only make it show if the quest hasn't been succeeded yet. So you can see if we come up and kill him and run back, he will say truth is gone. We can take it. He seems happy. We can talk to him again. And the gold has now gone. Perfect. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you kill individual named enemies or groups of enemies. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.